So this is a shocker because if it's Elizabeth Warren, who's a very well-known liberal politician, they should be sending lots of blue stuff to her. They're not. They want her out of office. They are sending people to, to content that vilifies Elizabeth Warren. They want her gone. Why? Because she is one of the only Dems who's gone on record, writ written statement, the whole thing, calling for Google's breakup. They want her gone. And Deaton, I guess, just won the nomination to oppose her for the Republicans. Uh, they are going to do everything possible to put this Republican into office in Massachusetts. Wow. And no one knows this except you and me, Owen James. Well, a lot more people know it now. Uh, maybe. As of you saying this on this podcast, yes. Well, unless they're going to suppress the podcast, but they really can't do that. <laughs> well, that's why I have a lot to say that I want to say here, because uh, I am really upset about a bunch of things, and I want to explain Put why. Put that back up, please. So this, so what this is, uh, mean bias, and what what is this bias showing? Is this bias just negative stories about Elizabeth Warren, like her pretending to be Native American and that kind of stuff? Yes, in fact, what uh, the, you know that other one that you were about to put up that has the red graph at the top and then below it it has a bunch of news stories? That one? This one. Okay. If you can enlarge it and scroll down. So these bars aren't just bars. These bars are, are summarizing content. Thousands and thousands and thousands of web pages that they're sending people to. And so they're sending people mostly, are you saying right? wing centered content well look at the stuff but one of them is cnbc elizabeth warren wants more student loan borrowers to know bankruptcy is easier now mm -hmm. but when you average these that's what we're doing when you average them we're so we're looking at literally millions of these experiences mm -hmm. and we average them then you end up with a shocker in her case they're they're actually sending conservatively conservatively biased content when people are looking for information on, on Elizabeth Warren, they want her gone. Elizabeth Warren and anti-crypto movement losing their battle, according to former CFTC chairman report. So that's an anti-crypto movement. That's That would definitely be more of a right-wing bias. Uh, Warren proposes jail time for corporate greed in healthcare. That would be a, a negative for that would be more progressive, right? She's trying to eliminate corporate greed in healthcare. Uh, three Republican Senate candidates are competing to take Elizabeth Warren as the mass GOP fights for relevance. Okay, so that the way they're framing that fights for relevance is interesting. That's a little bit biased. Senator Warren is way off on raspberries and Americans' living standards. Okay, that's certainly uh, a negative article, likely. Warren calls for Fed Powell's weak need on bank rules. Democrats want to tax your home, your retirement, your everything. That's a negative one. Uh, Senator Warren and, Senators Warren and Marshall pose questions to Biden officials about the use of crypto to evade sanctions. So that's going to get the crypto bros after her. Um, don't change. We don't charge people for air. We shouldn't charge for water either. A new tax bill from Elizabeth Warren to Ro Khanna seeks to ban the trade of water futures. Let's go one step further. Well, that that's, seems like a progressive cause. When you put these all together, because mm -hmm. we're showing you means, right, right. what we're showing you is the mean, the overall mean. Now, for you would expect for Elizabeth Warren to get three blue bars, but we're getting three red bars. That means they're sending highly, on average, highly conservatively biased stories to conservatives, which makes sense, mm. to moderates, well, one could argue, but also to liberals. They're sending those to but liberals. she's a problematic person to search anyway because she's kind of a fraud, right? Like, especially with the... I mean, I don't want to say she's kind of a fraud. Let, let me let me fr say it better. She has been accused of lying about her ancestry, and then she did it for benefit, and then she did it to get into Harvard, she did it to get jobs... And then, you know, she had that challenge with President Trump, and then it turns out she has a small fraction, 
Like I am, I think I'm 100 times more African American than she is Native American. Something like that. Let me explain. I might have made that up. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> okay. Please explain. All right. Uh, these aren't just graphs. These are graphs summarizing a massive amount of data that's being sent to a lot of, directly to the computer screens of registered voters. I totally understand that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, with someone like her, it might be difficult to find positive stories. Oh, no, 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 uh, no. Because we have so many examples of these things now that we can find whatever it is. But here's the point. Okay. We can, we can adjust what we're looking for. We can not only look back now in a database that we've been building over a year, but we can adjust what we're looking for going forward. So if a person wants to break up Google like she has uh, publicly stated, they're like, okay, well, we will target you with our search algorithm. We will make sure that people are getting more negative stories about you than positive stories, and we will have a bias that leans towards these negative stories to everyone, to liberals, to conservatives, to independents. And that has very little impact on people who have already made up their mind, but people who are still making up their mind- Which is a lot of people in this country. Easily shifts between 20 and 80% right. of those people, the undecided voters, like that.